Humanity. I remember when we first discovered them. As you all know, they were the 32nd race designated for conquest by the old empire, and 67th race directly discovered by our people until that point, or the 637th we knew about. I will try and give an unbiased look at them, but you must know that I was a recruit in the fleet at the time of their discovery. I have mixed feelings of repulsion and admiration when it comes to them. Confusing. But I'm only Tal, after all. 150 Earth years ago to the day, the Imperial fleet was sent to a small world designated for subjugation for the purpose of creating a buffer between the Talax Empire and the Niringi Confederation. We brought a ship, small by our standards, to Earth and initiated aggressive first contact procedure. To paraphrase, Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Good to see you're doing well. Give us rights to all your resources. Like all pre-stellar civilization, there was chaos, a bit of war. All expected. We then repeated our demand and received the most eloquently written not with that ship you're not fuck off letter in over 200 languages. Huh. It should be noted as a point of consideration that each word of the letter was written in a different language and it took us a year to decipher it. As you all know, we do not take insults well. Like almost all primitive worlds, they would resist and we would crush them, which it should be said was our goal in the first place. However, when we brought in the fleet, we received an incredible communique from the humans, we surrender. What? They repeated themselves. We had not realized the discrepancies in power. We apologize for any insult. We surrender. Ah, this was interesting. Never in the history of our people did a planet meant for subjugation ever surrender, ever. The fact that made this especially problematic was that the Nuringi were well aware of our advances, and we were well aware that they knew what was going on. We were counting on it. Subjugation was a serious military endeavor. It would have provided the excuse to remilitarize the border. But you don't need a large military to occupy a place which willingly surrenders. The council was in chaos. Slaves are inefficient. Robots and androids are far better in every way to biological creatures for all useful deeds. Providing them with citizenship like for a planet which surrenders during a war of conquest was difficult given their technological inferiority. Making them into a puppet state would anger the Niringi more than we would have liked at that stage, almost as much as annexing them, but giving us the inability to properly control them. And we had to act quickly, or else the Confederation would pounce on the planet making them into a vassal. In the end, after much deliberation we sent the message, your surrender is accepted. You are now a full member of the Talax Empire, since you have surrendered in a war. You will be given partial rights, and rights to partially self-govern. Although your resources will be pooled with the rest of the Empire, your technology and your society will be elevated to the level of an associated territory in the extended territories. Congratulations on your decision. Well, that was the beginning. After about twenty years, the Sol system was a relatively large port of call for all military ships of the Empire as well as mercantile ships coming to and from the Confederation, Earth grew wealthy. It was at this time that the Confederation attacked. As they pushed back our forces, the decision was made to retreat past Saul. We ordered them to hold out for at least one month. They held out for half that time before surrendering to the Niringi. So they are a race of cowards, we thought. It's all well and good. But then something interesting happened. Pirates on both sides started attacking. Trade was concentrated around Earth. It grew incredibly wealthy. It was at this time that humans started to appear in high places all over the known worlds. The whole situation was very strange indeed, but not so far beyond imagination that we were going to do anything about it. We recaptured Earth, and they captured it back again. Companies are largely exempt from wars due to their benefit to galactic society at large. A war between powers should not affect the whole galaxy, after all. The United Galactic Nations would have our heads if that were the case. In fact, so little of the Sol system was destroyed, due to the immense wealth that it became the safe haven for all traders in the area. And trade was booming for some odd reason. It became incredibly important to reap the total benefits of Earth. As in the end, owning Earth was the only thing saving both nations from bankruptcy. 
In the end, however, it wasn't we who decided anything. It was the human diplomats, convincing both sides to abandon Saul and the surrounding territories while they saved both nations from bankruptcy. And that was what happened. But what we didn't know also happened was that to do so, Earth-based corporations bought up almost all the businesses of both nations. Their banks took over ours. In essence, an economic takeover. By the time we realized what had happened, it was too late. Even our warships were refitted by human corporations, which have a kill switch. Earth then became the economic crown of the galaxy. They own both the Empire and the Confederation. And today, on the 150th year of their awakening, we have just found out that the pirates, which forced the trade towards Earth, were human. We found that the reason why it became a port of call was because they convinced the traders that brand new, updated docks were being built at the border and that they would be completely safe in the case of a war because they would surrender to the stronger side while playing both. And they ensured that the admiral on either side would not destroy the facilities through a cocktail of bribes and by convincing them that Earth would infiltrate their opposition and spy on them and give them all the profit it had accumulated. Of course, it gave the information and kept most of the profit. Little did we know that by surrendering again and again. The humans now own us all. You must be wondering why I'm rambling so much right now. Well, the Empire officially has to pay the Saul Republic a tax to ensure that their corporations will remain through bribes and blackmail that actually passed. But this time the tax is also in ships and military power. I'm a captain, and I've been ordered to join the, the Saul Navy. Oh, and didn't you hear? The humans are tomorrow going to buy half of the territory of both the Empire and the Confederation. A deal which they can't refuse, right? We thought they were surrendering. They weren't surrendering. They simply couldn't fight us in the short war. So they won the long war and forced us to surrender ourselves.